Hello friends, how are you? Uh, I am Dr. Aliyan Kureshi and I welcome you in my YouTube channel Health Tips. Friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about the IV fluids. So friends, as you know, uh, this is my English channel Health Tips and also I have a YouTube channel in Hindi on YouTube that is Health Consultant. Friends, if you want Hindi knowledge, updates, health updates in Hindi, you can also go there and subscribe to my their channel. So friends, uh, today I am going to discuss you uh, one very important topic that is uh, IV fluids. So friend, uh, there are several types of IV fluids, but uh, in today's day to day life, IV fluids are used as an uh, to increase the power and to increase the stamina in the body. But uh, friends, I will discuss you uh, two three points. What are the indications and how is using in today's day to day life and who should get and who should not get it. First we will talk uh, IV fluid is a condition where we provide the IV fluid for hydration. If someone is dehydrated then we uh, used to give IV fluids. So uh, first of all we will uh, look at the types there are IV fluids like DNS. If you are saying this is DNS, uh, DNS uh, it contains uh, dextrose, sodium uh, chloride and water. So this IV fluid is given to the patient uh, who is having dehydrated and who is also having a, some type of hypoglycemia or a hypoglycemic like condition. So we can use new uh, DNS to that in that condition. DNS should not be given to diabetic patient. So that we should be kept in mind and whose BP is high on the higher side, any IV fluid should not be given to uh, the patient whose BP is We will discuss it uh, in, uh, uh, in the video. So don't skip the video, watch it until the end. This is NS, it is NS, it is soda, uh, it contains sodium chloride and water for injection. It is a, according to me, NS is a very good saline or uh, IV fluid because it can be given in any condition to diabetic, to head injury, to any patients this IV fluid can be given and uh, these bottles are 500 ml of bottles are present of DNS, NS also NS is present in 100 ml also friends this is the RL, uh, RL of course ringer lactate, sodium chloride, sodium potassium and calcium are the content of this uh, slime and uh, it is basically given to a patient having hypotension who is having rehydration so it is very important RL we use in very condition various condition it can be given to diabetic patients also but it cannot be given in BP patient this is D25% a patient who is having dextrose 25% a patient who is having uh, and it is 100 ml of saline a patient who is having a deficiency of uh, 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 glucose that is hypoglycemia or a patient who is having uh, diabetes and who is gone in hypoglycemic condition can be given this uh, D25% two fast uh, bottles 100 ml NS explained earlier sodium chloride it is very good it can be used as a various purposes also to give antibiotics and uh, injection which are highly concentrated to dilute and give slowly uh, diclo and every injection there are other uh, IV fluids are also present, uh, D5%, uh, isolate P, isolate P we use in the pediatric patient friends. Friends, if you like uh, this uh, my information, do keep watching to 2-3 to three minutes again. I will explain you which uh, uh, IV fluid should be given, which IV should be, fluid should be given in which condition. So friend, you see, uh, I am uh, explaining you that DNS and D5% should not be given in a uh, glycemic patient, sugar patient and uh, you know I am explaining you uh, NS and RL is given in uh, a head injury patient also friends and of course you will also see that um, NS 100 ml is given in the various uh, injections also we put that injection in the, in the drip 100 ml and we provide that injection plus which in which conditions we should not give IV fluids? The patient who is having asthma, that is bronchospasm, bronchospasm. The patients who have kidney failure, the patients who have high BP, 
So this should be avoided. And in the day-to-day -day practice, in day-to-day -day life, in general practitioners, patients are recommending or asking for IV fluids with the multivitamin injection. Please check whether that patient has uh, got uh, what you call uh, BP or sugar. If they are having BP or sugar, don't give that fluids. Alter use alternative fluids if sugar is there. You can use NSRL with multivitamin. Don't use DFID DNS. If you like my this information, share on this channel and go to health cancer channel.